Yeah. Okay. Hi, I'm Paul Anastasio, and this is the first in a, what's hopefully going to be a big old series of Western Swing Workshop instructional videos. I'm fortunate in that I have Albany Folletta, a terrific guitar player, backing me up. She made me rhythm guitar tracks. So we're going to take the very first tune here. It's called Bring It On Down To My House, Honey. And we're going to turn the, the rhythm guitar on and I'm going to mess with it a little bit and then I will talk about it. Okay, this is Bring It On Down to My House, Honey, in the key of good old G. One, two, one, two. So what I'm doing there is I'm basically working around the chords to the tune. Many, many years ago, 1977, when I had the great good fortune to be able to study with Joe Venuti, a great jazz violin pioneer, he told me two things that have stayed with me for over 40 years. He says, you have to know chords, and that means where they are on the instrument, being able to run them, and he says, you improvise over the basic chords to the tune. So as a practice thing, what I'm going to do on bringing it on down to my house on is I'm going to arpeggiate all of these chords. We don't need rhythm for that. I'm just going to play them. So G is, of course, what is G? G is the root, the third, the fifth, the root, third, fifth, root, third, root, fifth, third, root, fifth, third, root. The next chord is E7. Well, if you're just starting to learn your chords, you might want to start on the root and go up. So E7 might be. But eventually you're going to want all the notes that are in an E7 chord, regardless of whether they're roots, thirds, or fifths. That means that E7 that we want to burn into our brains is this. Third, fifth, flat seven, root, third, fifth, flat seven, root, third, and fifth. Back down. Fifth, third, root, flat seven, fifth, third, root, flat seven, third, fifth. A little tip is uh, one of the things I got from watching Joe Venuti. He never explicitly told me this, but he, in his playing, he did an awful lot of what I call Joe Venuti bowling. It's an offbeat bowling. So in other words, that G scale would be, instead of being, it's going to be. I'm starting on a down, and then every subsequent pick two notes are slurred together. And so when, when I'm playing a tune, if I ever see an eighth note followed by a quarter note or followed by another eighth note, my tendency is probably going to be to slur the, uh, those two notes together, like
we've talked about G and E7 so far. That was a tangent. A7 is this. Flat 7, root, 3rd, 5th, flat 7, then root, and 3rd, and 5th, flat 7, and root. The next chord is D7. We're going to start on the lowest available note, not necessarily on the D, but on the lowest available note, which for D7 is the 5th, flat 7, the root, 3rd, 5th, flat 7, root, 3rd, 5th, 3rd, root, flat 7, 5th, 3rd, root, flat 7, 5th. So I'll make myself a little study. I'm going to run G. For the E7, A7, and D7 chord, I'm playing just root, third, fifth, flat seven. Then E7, the same thing. Root, third, fifth, flat seven. D, root, third, fifth, flat seven. So you can make an exercise out of it. And what I would do is do, take the tune nice and slow, and I would play notes that are just notes from the chord of the moment, the chord that's being played by the guitar. So it would be like. E7, A7, so let's start the rhythm again and I will uh, I will do some of that. I'll do my practice improvisation, and for the very first chorus, I'm going to allow myself only notes that are in the chord being played at the time. And then I'll doctor it up and have some fun with it. Okay, this is Bring It On Down to My House, honey, in the key of good old G. One, two. This is just one, chord two, tones. Three, four. <laughs> See you on the next video. I'm going to shoot a mess of these, so stay tuned.